What is going on guys, it's Jay here. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the essential tripods that you would need to vlog with the G7X or any type of vlogging camera that is around this size. So there are two tripods that I use right now for that camera. The first one is the Amazon Basics tripod that I got from Amazon for around $10. It is a really simple tripod, so it does have a ball head here that is made out of metal. And there is a standard screw mount here just to screw onto the bottom of the camera. Something I do like about this tripod is that these three legs here actually extend out. So it's perfect for storage and you can just put them back in, put it in your pocket really easily. This camera just goes right into the bottom of the camera. And it's really easy to hold, like, I don't have to hold it like here so that I'm twisting my wrist all the time and it's kind of uncomfortable. I just have to hold it at the bottom and you can move the camera really easily and you don't have to worry about accidentally dropping it or anything like that. And what I love is that, of course, the legs extend. So I do use that. So say I want to get a quick time lapse somewhere. It is really useful for that. One thing I do have to mention is that the legs aren't as sturdy, so it is sort of made out of plastic. Also, if you're thinking of mounting a heavier camera to the tripod, be aware that if you're extending the legs, that they might sink down a bit just because of the camera's weight. So definitely, if you're getting a camera that's heavier than a G7X, um, think of something else. If you're thinking of a heavier camera, I would recommend the next tripod that I'm going to be telling you about. So this is a Joby Gorillapod. I've had this one for about four years now. I initially bought it just to use it with my iPhone, but now I use it for my vlogging camera. It does also have a ball head here. And one thing that I love about this tripod is that there's a button here that you can push and you can slide the mount off. So once you attach this to the bottom of the camera, it's really easy to slide the camera into the tripod and out. So that's really useful. And also, of course, with this tripod, you can bend the legs however you like. So you can actually wrap it around, say, a pole or a tree really easily if you want to get different angles. Okay, so let's see this tripod on the camera. So it just screws in just like that. There we go. And what I love about this is that you can actually just bend the legs like that. I know a lot of people who do this. Um, this is kind of coined by Casey Neistat, but it'll be really easy to hold the camera like, like that. So compared to the Amazon Basics, you can see that the size is a lot different. Um, this is really compact. This you cannot shrink at all. So that's the size you're going to get. With the legs extended, you can see that the Amazon Basics is still a little bit shorter, but it is really convenient for storage. For durability, I would say that the Joby is a lot better and also you can get a lot more cinematics and different angles with the Joby. The Amazon Basics I would recommend if you're just talking to the camera and doing some light vlogging. I would recommend both these tripods because they do serve a different purpose. I will have both of these links down below, you can check them out on Amazon. So yeah, that's about it. I'm shooting with the Fujifilm X-T2 right now. This is my second time trying to shoot this video because the first time I was using autofocus and it was just like hunting and zooming in back and forth and you just get the focusing sound in the lens in the background and it was super annoying. I'm using manual focus now. It took me a while to figure out how to focus on my face by myself without someone to help me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please leave a comment if you have any questions. Peace.